Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome, welcome. This is the reveal of the Jace Beauty Hair that I have been telling you guys that I couldn't wait to install. So I went ahead and did the install. You guys are gonna see the clips to the install in this video, behind this video. So let me tell you what I end up installing because I did not install all of the hair. What I end up installing was the half bundle, the half bundle, two and a half bundles, basically. So I got the half bundle that I think measured 27, 28, something like that. And the other two bundles that were like 27, 28. And I also have the four by four lace, HD lace closure installed as well. Now I do have a little bit, a little bit of my natural hair out just around the sides here um you know right here well this is mixed in with the actual closure so some of it is mine and some of it is jace <laughs> okay so but we we work well together okay we work well together so this is a combo of the closure and my natural leave out which i only left out a very small i didn't even leave out an inch of hair okay and i left out hair around the perimeter and the nape so that because it's a lot of hair i want to be able to pull it up okay because this is the longest hair i have ever worn in the history of my weave wearing i have never worn hair this long yeah it's, it's pretty long guys it is to my butt <laughs> so let me turn around so oh i hope you can see it but yeah Mr. Mabutai. Look at Look at that. Bam. So, this is pretty long. I've never worn in a hair this long before. But I, like I said, um, I don't know if I said it or not, but I wanted to try wearing something extremely long. Um, just because I'm in my 50s and I want to break the fucking roots. Instead of cutting it all off, I wanted to add more. Why not? Make it look pretty damn good. What do you think? It look pretty good. So this is what I have left, guys. So I have an entire bundle left. And this is, I think this is a 26, 27. Okay, so I have this left. And I also have this piece here left, which is part of the bundle, the last bundle that I put in. So like I said, I have two and a half bundles installed, one four by four HD lace closure. Let me go over the lengths once more. The 4 by 4 lace closure is in the length of 20 inches, which actually measured at 22, almost 23. Thank goodness. And the bundles all measured between 27 to 28 inches. So that's what I have in my head, okay? Now let's talk about the texture. What I have, the lace, HD lace closure, is actually more of a satin soft texture. The two, the two and a half bundles are light, medium, coarse. Okay, um, so I've mixed it. I mixed the two uh, textures, and this is what Nicole at Jace Beauty thought would look nice. This is the combo she gave me because she thought it would look nice, and she was absolutely right. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> so yeah, I don't question a person when when it, when it's their profession. I don't question. So. So, Miss Nicole, this is what she uh, put together. This is my special blend that she put together that she thought would look nice. And she was absolutely right. So, I'm going to actually take some photos of the hair so you guys can see it. Now, what I want to do is I'm also going to show you guys how I'm going to be styling this hair. Um, I probably won't put heat on it because I really like the wave and I don't want to straighten out the hair any more than I, you know. I don't want to make the hair any more straight than you know I possibly can. I want to stay away from heat. Because I want to wear this hair on vacation. You know, this is great vacation hair, I think. You know, for the get in the pool, get in some water, and not have to worry about, you know, how my hair looks. I think this will do it. This is like great beach hair. You know, it has a nice wave. So I don't want to mess up my wave. So I'm gonna do some styling to it, but it's not gonna be heat styling. 
I'm try to stay away from heat as much as possible with this hair. But I will be wearing it up a lot because it is extremely long. Look, it's extremely long, people. Just long. Now, I work out. So this hair will be going up in a bun and some plaits, twist something. But I probably won't be wearing it down um, unless I'm going somewhere or something. Um, because it's it's a lot of hair. <laughs> and I got to get used to wearing so much hair. I've never worn this much length. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, this is a Jace Beauty Russian Fide uh, raw hair. And once again, this is the, um, ha this is a hybrid. This is a special mix of textures that Jace Beauty put together, which is a satin soft mixed with light, light to medium coarse hair. And this is what it looks like. And she did a great job because I was a little concerned because I thought that the light to medium coarse wouldn't look, you know, it wouldn't blend well with my hair, but it it it, it looks great. It looks great. So, okay, guys, I'm rambling, but wanted to show you the hair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. In case you wanted to know what product I put on the hair. All right. I just used water and conditioner. Okay. I use water and conditioner. I just scrunched it up and then I put a little bit of this um, curl mousse by Cream of Nature. And I put the curl mousse by Cream of Nature and you can just let it air dry. It's actually still a little bit wet in certain places. So it's still dry and I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah, it's not 100% dry. It's probably like, eh, I would say about 95% dry. So yeah, it's like it's still a little wet on the ends. But yeah, so that's all I used, and it looks great. So I plan on not using a lot of product if I can avoid it. Because I, 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 most of the time, Jay's hair, you don't need a lot of product, if any. I mean, you don't really need product. But yeah, so I'm going to be fabulous for a little while, y'all. So my husband hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> so when he comes home, he's going to be like, you're doing the most. <laughs> I'm like, you're goddamn right, I'm doing the most. You married me. <laughs> deal with it so yeah so anyway all right i'm rambling guys i'm going to show you a quick you know install i took a couple of little clips of me installing the hair if you guys were interested like i said i didn't leave a lot of my natural hair out i just left a little bit around the uh temples here all the way around the back of the nape because i want to be able to pull it up so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I'm probably going to start doing some like reaction videos on like maybe hair stuff or whatever. I'm, I'm going to probably start doing a little different content too. But I ain't ever getting away from wearing my weed and doing my hair stuff. So yeah, so this is it. It looks pretty damn good. And the closure, oh, let me tell you, I did not have to, I did bleach the knots on my closure. I bleached the knots, and I think I might have a clip um, that I can add in when I was coloring the hair and bleaching the knots. But I bleached the knots, and I plucked the closure. I plucked the hairline just a little bit, um, but I didn't do a lot. Closure was, you know, it was a pretty nice closure. So I did, um, like I said, I did a clip, clip. I did tweeze the hairline um, a little bit. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, and then one thing I wanted also share too is you know don't do a whole lot of plucking if you can avoid it you know try to make it look as natural as possible when you're doing your closures but you know this hair that's in this closure is expensive so I didn't want to pluck out with so much <laughs> I really didn't I was like mm -mm. so I did pluck a little bit not very much because it, it wasn't a very dense or wiggy looking closure from the beginning so I didn't have to do a lot anyway but yeah so Stay tuned for the install. Stay, stay tuned for the coloring. I think I have clips of me coloring the hair. Um, and um, yeah. So if you have any questions or if you, you know, have video requests, please, please comment below. Please remember to subscribe and share and also like the video. You know, I've been doing this YouTube thing. For a long time, I don't get paid for this. I'm still not monetized. And I'd be like, I'm bad. I don't rely on this shit to pay my bills. <laughs> I'd be a broke bitch. <laughs> but 
But but no, but it would be great to get something from it. You know what I'm saying? It is work. So if you guys could share and like the video, I want to see what's going to happen because, you know, I've never been, you know, I'm not a one that monetize YouTubers, okay? I'm not. I do this because I enjoy it. I do this because it's a hobby and I like to share information and I like to communicate with you guys. But it would be nice to get a little train. <laughs> I'm trying, you know, stop spending money all the time, make some money. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm rambling. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Have a good one. <laughs> Trip. Okay, let's get to this coloring and the install. So guys, I'm going to show you what I did to the um, the closure. This is the 4x4 four four closure. What I did was I just uh, bleached the knots and I used 30 volume developer and uh, I think it was BW bleach. And I am just closing it in like a little hot pocket because I want to keep some heat there so they can process. So it took about 15 minutes and it processed really, really quickly. Now I am showing you um, the bundles. What I did with the bundles was I colored them with some Revlon Color Stay, some um, box hair dye in the color black and I put them in a plastic bag to process. Now I'm just going to be rinsing that out and um, getting all the hair color out and then I'm going to wash it and condition it afterwards and let it air dry. Actually I had a little bundle in there for one of my clients that needed her hair. Her um, bundle dyed black so I figured it was a good time to do it. So here I am actually running the color through the closure. So the way that I color my closures and frontals is um, I attach it to a mannequin head and I put the color on maybe an inch away from the roots sectioning um, each part and then I work my way up with a fine tooth comb um, to work that color in and I try my best not to get any color on the lace but the um, putting the color on about an inch away from the actual uh, root really helps without um, letting that, the color spill onto the lace. So here I'm just rinsing out the bundles and as I stated I washed them um, and I conditioned them and I'm getting all of that conditioner out because I'm going to let those air dry. Just making sure everything's out. So here comes the install. So this is the braid pattern that I decided to do. So what I did was I did a small part in the center of my head and then I did like the Coliseum behind a couple of the braids and the reason why I did it that way is because I knew I was putting on a 4x4 four four closure and I wanted to have a uh, anchor braid to make sure that I was able to put the, the back of the 4x4 four four closure um, to be able to attach that to and have it lay really really flat. So I'm just showing you guys how long the bundles are. So I'm opening up the bundle so you can see how much hair you get in that bundle. So this is the second bundle that I'm installing and I think I'm just about done here. So I'm just doing the finishing touches looking like Mr. It, Cousin It, <laughs> but I've been doing it so long I can do it by touch. So. so yeah I'm just finishing up my install. So yep so I'm taking it, taking it down and BAM! This is the final look. This is the Jace Beauty Russian Fide with a 20 inch 4x4 closure and two and a half bundles ranging from lengths 27 to 28. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.